Today, I want to go over the gross structure of skeletal muscle. First, I want to point out a few prefixes. Epi, peri, endo, sarco, and myo. If you know these, it'll be much easier to understand rather than having to memorize these. Epi means outer, outside the cell. Endo means within the cell. Peri means between the cell. Sarco and myo both mean muscle. Sarco is Greek from comes from the Greek and myo comes from Latin. But they both mean muscle. All right, now that we got that taken care of, we can go over the whole thing. So first, there's an outer covering around the muscle, and that is known as the epimesium. Then, we have these little segments. And these are all fascicles, just like the one right here. So, in between those fascicles is actually the paramecium. And then, in between all these tiny little ridges, and right here as well, is the endomesium within the muscle fibers. And that's where this comes out to be. This is a single muscle fiber, also known as a single muscle cell. The sarcolemma, which is a plasma membrane that surrounds this muscle fiber. And then you have the sarcoplasm, which is the cytoplasm or the intracellular fluid within. Then within these muscle fibers, you have little myofibrils, which then contain the myofilaments that take part in the sliding filament theory, which you'll learn eventually. Those are known as the thick and thin filaments. The thick filament is the myosin filament. The thin filament is the actin filament. All this anatomy terms are all essential to understanding the concepts that you will get to later.